Welcome to NC Wine Snobs as we savor the world one sip at a time. This video is another stop along our passport journey, and this time we went to Stony Knoll Vineyards. When I sat down to work on this video, I realized I had over two hours of notes that we audio recorded while we were enjoying the wines at Stony Knoll Vineyards. So we may have to come back to this one and do a take two with some of the actual audio clips. We were happy to see that Stony Knoll Vineyards was part of the passport as we hadn't been there in quite a few years and we're looking forward to the opportunity to drink some of their wines again. We picked a table off to the side. We ordered, had ordered our wine at the bar and we have a rather large tasting to go through. We did two tastings for the passport, which was six wines each served up in muffin tins. Here's the list of the 12 different wines we tried with the Passport Tasting. The 2018 Chamberson was tannin forward, acidic, some berries, no smoke or leather flavors. The blend of the 2018-2019 Chamberson had berries in the nose. It was smoother than the 2018 alone and had some fresh red fruit flavors. The 2018 Cabernet Franc had ripe red fruit flavors and subtle cocoa. The 2017 Syrah had a little bit of pepper and a smoky nose. The 2017 Merlot had lots of pepper. It was bold and not fruity. The 2019 Cabernet Sauvignon was the boldest wine. It had lots of tan and leather smoke on the finish. The Viognier was grassy, citrus. It had some grapefruit and it had a dry finish. The Stainless Steel Chardonnay was smooth for an unoaked Chardonnay. It was grassy. We think it would be great with fish or chicken. It was quite flavorful. The Vintner's Rosé was amazing. It would, was plum flavors and dark cherry, sort of an unsweetened cherry, had lots of flavor. We think it would be a great wine for any wine drinker. It was fruity, but not super sweet. It has some melon and redstone flavors. It's a fun wine. We found it intriguing, sort of a what is it? And we also thought, could it be strawberry? The Red Table Wine had blackberry, dark cherry, cocoa mocha, honey, dark sweet cherry, dry red finish. Just a really good blend of lots of flavor. The Ardella Blanc had a floral nose, medium mouthfeel. We think it would make a great spritzer over ice with club, club soda. The Late Harvest had a port nose to it with some smoke, some prune flavors, smoke and honey. It seems sweeter than a port. It has some raisins and possibly prunes soaked in honey is what we felt for the flavors. That late harvest was amazing. In addition to the two passport tastings, we decided to try the private stock reserve tasting at Stony Knoll. We tried the 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon, the 2014 Cabernet BBC Parts, and the 2019 Chamberson. The 2014 Cabernet Sauvignon had a little bit of pepper on the nose, some earthy flavors, some tannin. It was light bodied and dark in color. The Cabernet BBC parts was Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot. It was mellow in flavor. It was fruit forward and had a lot of legs on the glass. The 2019 Chamberson had some tobacco, smoke, and leather aromas to it and a raisin flavor without being sweet. It would make an excellent steak wine. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell turned on. We'll be releasing new content every Wednesday.